You've seen a slide like this before. It is the list of the data collection techniques that we've discussed and that you need to know for your first quiz in the course. You know about naturalistic observation that takes place in the natural habitat. You know about case studies where n equals one or a few. You know about surveys like the Kinsey study. You know how to design an experiment and you know that experiments determine cause and effect. And you know about correlational studies that do not typically identify cause and effect relationships but merely tell you whether or not two variables are related. So if you are going to study a phenomenon such as exposure to violent role models increases aggression in children, what you want is to see that this research is conducted with all these different methods. You want to see naturalistic observation used, experiments, and so on. And in fact, this type of research has been done and it's pretty consistent across the different research methods used. And it brings us to a very important point. To really fully understand a psychological phenomenon, it is best to use multiple methods. To study that psychological phenomenon, such as the one we've been discussing with aggression in children, using different kinds of research methods, preferably by different researchers in different geographical locations. And what you want to see is consistency among all those different types of studies. And that's when you can really give credibility to a psychological finding.